All right, so we created a file, we added a record, we read the records, and now it's time to update the records. Let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's create a new method called a static void update record. Okay, as with the other ones, we are going to start with creating a new instance of the XML document object, and we're going to load the file next. So these two line of codes, we're going to copy and paste to save some time. Okay. Next, I'm going to select the node I want to update. So in our case, I want to update this and change the title to Goodfellas. Alright, so XML node, we need the node, XML node. And uh, let's get a name target node equals document dot select single node. We're going to select a single node. And open close quotation marks double quotes and we have to type in the expat so we're going to go to start from the root movies and then go to the movie child element and then filter by the ID to locate this node title node so movies then the movie child element here we're going to start filtering if you see my XML data provider uh, this is almost identical filtering there so open close square brackets and inside the square brackets we're going to say uh, ID is an attribute so we need the add symbol and then type in the name of the ID and um, name of the attribute which is ID I'm going to say if that's equals to one, it's one, right? It's one. If the value is one, then we want to select the title node. Oopsie. Uh, that should be inside the quotation marks. So type in title. And that should select the title node. So if I run a console dot right line and type in target node dot inner XML or inner text, I think we should be able to get that our movie name. Let me call this method. Let's call this update record and run it. We should get the godfather. Okay, so we got the godfather right here. That's perfect. Now that we got that, we need to update it. So we're going to say uh, target node, inner text, inner, yes, inner text equals to goodfellas. Okay, and um, if I do dot dot inner XML here, we should see it. On display that the value changed and it's right here so we changed successfully we changed the uh, Godfire title to Goodfellas all right so now let's save the file let's copy and paste this and change the load to save 
make sure that the, the file itself hasn't changed yet. All right, and let's run it. Okay, that should change the file, and it did. Wonderful. So now we updated successfully a record inside our XML file. All right.